By now we've used several built-in template tags that are provided by Django. Um, we've used extends, that's a template tag. We've used block, we've used for, like the for loop, we've used if, but this isn't it, right? We've actually have a lot more. If you look at the documentation itself, there's a whole list of items that you'll see for built-in template tags themselves. You know, we just talked about block, but there's one for comment. So if you wanna write notes, you can write comment as a template tag. Um, you can cycle through things. That's something we haven't actually covered, uh, but it is something maybe to play around with. Or if you wanna see it in particular, please let us know in the comments. I don't actually use cycle that much anymore, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Uh, but we've seen for loops, we've seen include, we've seen extends, right? So we have all sorts of items in here that allow us to make our templates that much more valuable. And then there's another thing that I kind of tease that we'll talk about right now, which is filters. So, so this is a filter. All it does is take whatever this value is or whatever the template context variable value is. So any of these things can use filters. Basically a rule of thumb, if you see two curly brackets, it's a really good chance that you'll be able to use just a pipe and then some filter there. And yes, there's a way to make custom filters as well. So if you have a, if you have a need to see that, please let me know in the comments. And here is the built-in filter reference, right? So we have all sorts of different values. Notice that you can add numbers or even a string that represents a number. Um, you can add variables. So if you pass in a different context variable and you wanted to combine them together, you could do that. We can do stuff like slashes or cap first. Cap first is probably a really good one for let's say for instance in here we changed my text to being uh, title, right? And then back into our actual template, we would change this to being title. And let's, let's just go ahead and bring it into an H3 tag. We put title here and then we would use that filter cap first and we close off that H3. And all that does is it ensures to us that that first text item is capitalized. So if I said ABC this, refreshed, and there we go. Pretty cool. Now, luckily the documentation gives us a lot of examples of using this, right? So like, when would I actually use value of center, right? So if I wanted to use center, I, I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever used this template tag. Um, that's why the documentation's there, but let's go ahead and use center and try it out. If I refresh, oops, we have two extra curly brackets in there. Sorry about that. Center. It actually doesn't render anything for us um, because of how templates work. But it, it, you know, so, I mean, the HTML I think does have extra spacing. No, it doesn't do anything. So it didn't do anything. Um, but what you can do is you can absolutely use two things at once. So I can say cap first, right? So I can filter that to cap first like it does. Uh, but then maybe we use the upper case with just upper. So slash upper, and all that's gonna do is capitalize the first letter and then uppercase all the other ones, right? So we can stack those filters together, which is kind of nice. Now, I'm not sure exactly when you're gonna be stacking these together like this, but it is possible. Um, another thing that's possible is something called safe. So when you pass in HTML as a context variable, let's say my HTML, and we said, hello world, by default, when this is rendered, right? So I want to render out some HTML in there. When it's rendered, it, it's rendered as just plain text, right? So it doesn't actually render the HTML document, right? So we can actually use a filter in here called safe. So we can save that and there you go. It actually renders that HTML. Um, and there's a lot more like truncate characters, right? Or title, look at, hey, that's pretty cool. So how about we do that? We've got cap first and then title. So title and title. It title it titleizes the entire title variable, right? So this is the variable. Whatever that is is the variable. And then once you put those pipes there, it turns into um, the filter name that it might be. Cool. So we can do time until. So using dates, stuff that's a little bit more advanced than where we're at. You can change the time. You can change the format of time. You can strip HTML tags, right? So we see here, we've got strip tags. Before I did safe, if I did strip tags, save that, refreshed, 
hey, there you go. It's no longer showing what that HTML is. So those are kind of the reverse of each other. One actually renders it, the other one just gets rid of it. Um, these are pretty cool, very useful inside of templates themselves. Slugify, hey, that's another really cool one. Slugify, what does Slugify do? Well, we refresh in here, it turns hello world with the H1 tags in there still into a slug version of it or like a URL safe version. Uh, but I can also do strip tags and then Slugify. And hey, what do you know? It removed all those HTML tags and Slugified it at the same time. So you're gonna wanna go to the documentation for this whenever you think like, hey, I need to do X, Y, or Z. Um, because they're very specific to just generally what you're using, right? So if you have user-generated content and you want their titles show up as a title, then you might do that. But honestly, you might leave it as is. You might not enforce those things. And that's something that's really cool about these template tags is you get to pick and choose on, on when you wanna use them. I don't actually think that you'll end up using them that much, um, honestly, because as we see here, I'm showing you that they exist, but oftentimes when you have values like this, you'll do that in the view, or if you have something like this, also would do that in the view. And in fact, safe should itself be done in the view with something called mark safe, but um, that's actually not something we're gonna cover just yet. That's, that's a little bit more advanced, but it's something worth noting. Um, okay, so that's it for Django's built-in template tags and filters. If you have questions on those things, please let us know. Now we're, we're definitely ready to start rendering content from our backend, so the data that actually has been stored in our database. We'll do that in the next one, so make sure you subscribe to get everything, and thanks so much for watching. See you next time.